Hi guys, this is Matthias, and I'm coming at you here with a video from the game and mode operations of Battlefield 1, and I am mostly going to focus this video on why I don't play this game mode almost ever. Now keep in mind, I do not in any way make this video in order to provoke anyone, or in order to be disrespectful to anybody who disagrees with what I'm saying, because obviously, since this game mode is as popular as it is, there are going to be a lot of people that will disagree with what I'm saying here. But perhaps with the problems that I'm pointing out, if they would be fixed, then maybe this game mode is going to be an even better game mode for you guys who already really like it. Now from the very beginning of when this game was launched, I was really surprised over how well received Operations was from a big majority of the community and how popular it became from basically day one. Now obviously there are things about Operations that makes this game mode a lot easier to get into than Conquest and that is because your enemies will of course come from one direction, almost exclusively come from one direction except for when uh, in some areas where you're capturing three different points. You play this game mode as either attacker or a defender, and it's basically just like Rush, only the, f the difference is that the defenders can recapture a point that the attackers have taken. Now this, together with how you capture a point, uh, makes it a little bit more like a, a combination of Rush and Conquest. One of the most immediate problems that I saw with this game mode was that you can sit back so far on your side of the map that the only way that the enemy can reach you is with a sniper rifle, which of course encourages a lot of players to camp as the scout class. Now if that wasn't bad enough, what is even worse is that you can do this also with vehicles. And since this means that uh, the enemies cannot reach that vehicle with uh, anti-tank grenades oh. and uh, dynamite, what I've seen a lot of tankers do is that the moment they take a little bit of damage from the AT rocket gun, they just back off behind a rock or a hill or some such, repair, only to start peeking again once back at full health. Now another thing that I saw as a bit of a problem was on, I'm not sure if this is for more than one map, but it was on the map Ballroom Blitz, where um, if the attackers are unable to capture the first sector, they will be reinforced with the behemoth, just like on all other maps. It's just that there is no way to deal with the behemoth for the defenders. They have no planes and they have no anti-air. And of course, this is going to make it way too easy for the attackers to take the first Pick sector, which might seem like that's exactly the point. But to me, it just doesn't make any sense that any area of the map should be that one-sided. Instead, I feel like if that is what happens and uh, the attackers cannot even get to the first sector, then the match should actually end right then and there, so that all the players from that match should quickly be able to join another match that is hopefully a lot better and a lot more balanced. Now, the problem with camping snipers is, well, basically the biggest problem is, of course, the amount of people that can do it. Yeah. But perhaps there should also be a time limit for how long you can actually sit back without attacking the objective. Now, on top of that, one of the problems with this game, the way I see it, has to do with the sniper rifles themselves. I've started playing online games in 2009, and I have never, ever in any game seen anything that even resembles the power of sniper rifles in Battlefield 1 in terms of effectiveness and how easy they are to use, which of course encourages people to sit back like these guys that I am killing right here. And watching this video, you might think like, yeah, but Mati, you're killing all these snipers, it, it doesn't this prove the opposite? Now, I think that this proves the problem. But not only does this make it uh, rather boring and frustrating, but it encourages people to play the game in a way that makes it almost impossible for them to learn what this game is all about. Now take these guys that I just killed here, for example. Now these are the kind of players that, even if they were immortal, even if they played this game every day for hours on end for a thousand years, and after they've spent all those countless of hours of time in this game, they would still suck. Now it's a very different story if there was a lot more challenge to sniping, for example, or if a shooting at range required you to be very good at recoil compensation, for example, or burst firing, or understanding bullet drop and leading, that would make a big difference. And to be fair, there's nothing unusual with that in games. And just to mention one example, I think Battlefield Bad Company 2 made that part of the game a lot better. Now, we all play games for different reasons and different ways, and I really hope that this doesn't come across as if I'm trying to tell somebody how they should play and what they should think. I'm just simply trying to give you my thoughts on Operations versus Conquest. Oh, that's where they are. So yeah, this video is going to continue with some more Operations gameplay, and whether or not you agree with me, I really hope you will enjoy the video, and I want to thank you all for watching. Oh, I think I joined on EE e. Thunder. 
That's what it is. You are not in our server. Yeah, 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 yeah. I joined on the wrong. I joined on the wrong uh, player, I think. What are you telling? What are you saying? I mean, I, I clicked we on. We all joined the wrong server. You know, now Mati has to change it just because of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Look sharp! That soldier's one of theirs. A lot of guys under a bridge on C. No, D. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> this is this game mode operations is so fucking silly. Uh, they like, will introduce new game mode now yeah, in but DLC. Any fucking noob can fly in this game mode. It's retarded. <laughs> it's not about flying. I mean, no matter how bad you are at flying, you can still do really good in operations. I mean, it, it's, it's just how it is. That's my 67, 62nd service star, I think, with uh, this plane. Oh shit. Are they shooting me with... Um, Shoot me not only anti-air but the fucking tank also. We have lost objective apples. No, we lost the sector. <coughs> Matthias will soon be responsible for single-handedly ending World War One himself. The war to end all wars. <coughs> I'm coming. When I get shot down in this plane, I'm coming to uh, play Conquest with you guys. We are losing ah shit, I can't shoot up there. The yeah, let you try. Oh, come on, stuck by a rock. And snapped, of course. We're gonna we be out of the sector. Oh no! This is bad. Retreat to the next sector. 
Oh, I got... <laughs> I got the fucking the tank. Holy shit. There you go. Yeah, I wanna go on the... I wanna go on the right side and flank this... Uh, the tank there. Oh, there's a, there's a sniper there. All the way out to the right. Yeah. Fuck. Two of them. What? What? Ah, I got did that ninja on me. <laughs> what the fuck? Return to the combat area. Nice flank. Yeah, I got two of them. Oh, anti -ar artillery truck. Okay. Hit it once. Time to look around for the ball. Oh shit. Oh damn. Oh, this is a successful retreat. I'm gonna have to switch again, this one is so inaccurate. No, I'm not really. You're right. On the yeah. flag, guys. Tower, 60 HP. He's out. Oh, this is not guys, so many. Oh. Alright, I'm going. There is one guy. Oh, I don't know what I have to tell you. I'm, I'm guarding an, an anti air here. Yeah. There is one guy trying to camp. Come. Oh, there. Kill him. Yeah, they're, they're trying to get the anti air here. Yeah. They're coming. Oh. Kill him. Oh. Support guy down there. Uh, another one coming there. <laughs> yeah. And another one left of it. Two guys, three guys now on you. Yeah. And, and up on the flag too. Nice, we got C. We got B. Uh oh. Nice. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, that was <laughs> that was a close call.